Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, I'm not making this up, but literally about less than five minutes as I'm recording this video, I was just in the SmackDown Thunderdome. Basically, for those of you who don't know, they taped SmackDown today, which is Tuesday, and it's going to air on Friday on Christmas Day because they don't want the superstars to work Christmas Day, which is actually smart. And I was in the Thunderdome there. Uh, for those of you who want to try and see where I am, just look out for the kid with the Santa hat and the SmackDown shirt. I was also spotted by IG the King on TLC, and I was also spotted behind Bobby Lashley on Raw literally the night after. So, And I was there the whole show, so... Yeah, so for those of you who do not want to, to hear what I'm about to say about the SmackDown spoilers, click off now. I'll give you guys uh, five seconds to click off. So I'm going to begin spoilers in five, four, three, two, one, and no one comment on my long nails, three. Okay, so for those of you who did decide to stick around, here are the spoilers I, ri I had written down throughout the whole show. I think they booted me once, but I found a way to get back in, so that's that. So... These are all the spoilers from SmackDown, all right? So I know I misspelled a lot of stuff. I think I misspelled Asuka's name, but you know what? Whatever. So let's start off with the show. So the show was actually pretty good. and a great show opener. It had Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in a steel cage match. It had some great spots. They each threw each other into the cage. Reigns tried to escape, but I think Owens pulled him back in. Well, no, Owens didn't pull him back in. I think... Uh, no, I'm trying to remember what happened. Basically, Owens grabbed the door, smacked Roman in the head with it. Jay interfered. And then there, there were a couple good spots. There was the pop-up powerbomb into a Superman punch. And another thing also was when, I think, when Kevin was about to escape, or when he was going to the door, Jay Uso showed up, which is why I got the result right there. Basically, Jay Uso handcuffed Kevin Owens to... A part of the steel cage and Roman basically walked out of the cage. There you go. That's much clearer. So Roman Reigns walked out of the cage. Roman's still your universal champion. And Kevin Owens was screaming at him, oh, you're a bitch. That's a bitch move. And basically, yeah, Roman Reigns is your new champion. Or, no, not new, but still. So next, move on to Charlotte and Asuka, who decided to come to SmackDown, I guess. They were cutting a promo and then... Uh, Bailey showed up, and then Sasha showed up, then Be uh, Bianca showed up, and then Carmella showed up, and then they made this match official. So Asuka and Charlotte Flair versus Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair versus Bailey and Carmella for the Women's Tag Team Championship. And it was a good match, you know. Uh, Banks eliminated Bailey, and uh, Bailey kind of got involved towards the end, costing Bianca and Sasha the match because I don't remember. I think it was Asuka who knocked Sasha into. Uh, Carmella's, uh, I forget what they called him, but it was basically Carmella's like manager or something. So long story short, Charlotte hits a natural selection on Bianca Belair and she wins. That simple. They're still tag champs, which SmackDown needs a champion. Then we had a segment with the Street Profits and they were basically making fun of Sami Zayn. Well, basically Sami was asking about um, who leaked the audio on the thing that he said? Uh, basically, I want I don't I don't know the exact words, but he was basically just going off on a backstage worker, kind of like the Tom Cruise thing. And then there was something with the Street Profits where they were they were cutting the promo first, then it cut to Sami Zayn, then cut back with the Street Profits, and the Street Profits wanted to give Sami a gift, so they gave him a gift. It was basically Sami's. Uh, I am the Intercontinental Champion t-shirt, and they just taped over it and put I was the Intercontinental Championship, which was actually pretty funny. Now, I hate to say it, but after this segment is when I got, not booted off, but I guess they changed my position on the Thunderdome, so basically I couldn't find myself afterwards, but you know what, whatever. So then you move on to the Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso match, which was actually a pretty good match, you know. Daniel Bryan came out, we were all doing the yes chants, and then Jey Uso attacked him on the entrance ramp. I think uh, he threw him into a tree, gave him a body slam on the entrance ramp, and basically when, when they came back from commercial, Daniel's trying to get back up, but the doctors are telling him to to like stay down, don't don't go back in, it's not worth it. Then Daniel decides to go back in, and long story short, Daniel Bryan gets the W here tonight when he pins Jey Uso after a running knee. And then there's a not a backstage segment, but the camera cuts to Big E getting ready for his match. 
So he was set to face Sami Zayn in a lumberjack match for the Intercontinental Championship, and it was uh, it was a good match. You know, had some good spots. The the bad guys who were helping Sami Zayn were getting involved, attacking Big E, and then uh, Big E's guys were just helping him. And there was a cool spot in there where. I think everybody was going after each other. Gulak was, I think, going to punch Sami Zayn. or He was going to punch somebody. And then he accidentally hit Cesaro. And then Nakamura got involved and beat the crap out of uh, Drew Gulak. And long story short, Sami tried to escape. Apollo showed up and he just ran down Sami Zayn. I think it was Apollo Crews, the Street Profits, Chad Gable. And there's somebody else who literally carried Sami back to the ring. Then Big E hit a splash. Big ending. And long story short, Big E is your new interview. Intercontinental Champion. That's right. We have a new IC Champion. We have a new Intercontinental Champion, and his name is Big E, which is pretty good because, you know, it would have been nice if the New Day didn't lose the tag titles of the Hurt Business literally two nights ago. And then it would have been awesome because it would have been uh, Big E and the, the rest of the New Day having tag team gold. It would have been like the Shield and they were, when they were champions or any other three-man group. I think the NWO did that, but I'm not sure. So yeah, long story short, these are your SmackDown spoilers. I hope I did not ruin the show for anybody who was looking forward to this. That's why I gave you guys the countdown if you didn't want to hear the spoilers and click off. But yeah, long story short, the, these are the results of the show. Roman Reigns is still your Universal Champion. Charlotte Flair and Oscar are still your Tag Team Champions. Daniel Bryan beat Jey Uso. And Big E is your new Intercontinental Champion. No more Sami Zayn as our IC Champion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not seen the greatest wrestling match ever parts, uh, be sure to watch them. I'm going to release Part 5 on Christmas Eve and then Part... I think six on Christmas, and I do just I do uh, want to do one last thing with that match, but you guys are gonna have to wait on that. And I do plan on making a big review on something. Well, not big. Well, it's kind of a big review. It's basically showcasing something that I've been working on for the past three months, and I'm gonna do that the last day of 2020. So the last day of this horrible year. I'm going to hopefully make a video that can get some views. If not, then oh well. So yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And before I go, if anybody out there has spotted me in the Thunderdome, please let me know. All right? Um, like I said, I'm the kid who's who has thrown up the SmackDown logo on my shirt before. I'm literally the kid that is wearing a SmackDown shirt and a Santa hat. I was seen by... I think it was IG the King, but I was basically spotted behind Bobby Lashley on Raw. On SmackDown, I'm literally right there in the opening. You can see me. And then in TLC, I was seen behind, I think, no, I was seen in the Carmella and Sasha Banks match. Not really behind anybody, but, you know, I'd get behind them any day. So anyway, that's, I'm going to stop babbling. So that's the video. Be sure to watch the greatest wrestling match ever. And yeah, other than that, these are your spoilers. And yeah, so Merry Christmas to you all. I'm going to make another video on Christmas. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas to you all.